My name is Penny Wingard, and um, I've been going to Sunlight for almost two years now. And what brought me to Sunlight, as a matter of fact, was a series they had going on marriage called Marriage by Design. And I received a card in the mail. My first experience was great. I was welcomed immediately. I, I felt great about being there, and everybody was just... Uh, this was nice and it was, just felt like family. During that time in my life I was dealing with a lot of personal issues, ma mainly it was my marriage, um, on the brink of divorce unfortunately, and, um, but while I was going to Sunlight my relationship with Christ was getting stronger and better. The fellowship was exactly what I needed. I uh, joined a life group as a matter of fact and felt that that's, that's the extended family I needed when I was going through a difficult time in my life. During our marriage, you know, we would have moments where we looked like we were working things out and then there'd be times where we weren't and uh, and I knew if I was, became more involved in the church that that possibly could bring my husband to church and I thought well drama would be really an opportunity for me to get up there and do something where he could see it and and um, eventually that's exactly what happened. I uh, was doing uh, a drama series called Deal or No Deal and it's exactly what brought Don to come to church. It was just the, uh, the first step in getting him to go to church, you know, that next Sunday. And then, and then it became, you know, if I wasn't doing anything in the drama series, I actually found that he wanted to come to church just to hear, you know, what, what was Herschel gonna say? You know, this week, and uh, it was um, one Sunday morning during church. Don wrote on a communication card, and unbeknownst to me, I didn't know what it had said. And it was the next day that we were talking. It was the next night, actually, Monday night. Um, and it was the night before he was deploying. He's, uh, he's in the Navy, and he was about to deploy overseas. Um, and he, we were talking about being saved and what that meant and salvation and I had told him and then he had says well I did that and I was I was in shock it's like you, you, you pray and pray and pray for the moment where your spouse you know accepts Christ into their heart and you're just like wow But he made me realize that's what I needed to do, is just love your spouse. Honor him, respect him, pray for him every day. And I can't change. You know, I, cu I could not change my husband. I, could not, I couldn't force Don to accept Christ as a savior. I couldn't force him to, you know, say, hey, let's make this marriage work, you know, when he had practically just given up. It's amazing. You know, it's like I, I have my family secured, you know, we're going to heaven, you know, and uh, it's, it's an amazing feeling to have that, that peace. We'll never be the same. We will